Did you get in trouble, Buck, for being a little bully? Huh? Okay. Let's be better. You can be better. He's got himself his own ball. This is how he likes to do it. If you had him out at a lake or a pond or something, he'd be all in the water. But when he knows we're just around here, he just likes to chill. I can see a big improvement, y'all. Like, she has a lot of energy. So for months there, when I was in my funk, um, you could really tell she was having a hard time because being this active of a dog she's you know she'd be used to agility training she would used to she'd be used to hunting and since i wasn't able to do that with her just making excuses why i couldn't and what's wrong with me and all of that stuff um i just didn't do anything so it's you know neglect go get it ollie all right Maisie. here's yours so, you know, it's right there. She missed it. Oh, I got it. It really doesn't take that much time, you know, and it's good for me too. It gets me out. Good girl. Sit down, maybe. Sit. Buck, nope. Buck. Watch him. We're going to have to deal with him. Psst. Hey. You know better. No, you guys, I don't hit him or anything like that. But you got to talk firm to Buck. Usually only once. And he'll get it. He'll just stop. I hate it that you got to be so firm sometimes with the dog. But it's like if he just thinks you want to play, <laughs> this is what you get. <laughs> okay, Maisie. All right. Give me a good sit. You ready to go in the pool? Sit down. Very good. Ready? Go get it. So yeah, we're just gonna keep at this. I'm gonna get better on, you know, sit down, stay. She doesn't have the stay down very good. She needs some work on that. Her energy is just so high. It's probably not good to train her on stay command when she's that energetic. Sit, you know, she's, Half and half, I guess. And down still about half and half. So we just got to keep working on it. This is only, we just completed week number one. So it's going to take a little bit. But I'd like to have her in a good sit or down position and then stay. So that she could actually stay even when, and I throw the ball. So that would be phenomenal. All right. Since some of you, again, I don't know why people have to comment so rudely on where people live and how they live. But this is a old bunch of scrap wood. We kind of used it as a little platform for them in the beginning. Uh, but it's obviously junk and it needs to go. And there's all the woods out there on this five acre lot that that's going to be going. So I'll be getting an excavator here. And I'll be able to get on that and do it. And we'll get things cleaned up. And then you see all of that area over there. So I think I mentioned before, all of that garden area. Um, it's just going to get demoed. I'm going to move all of that out to another part of the lot. And then I'm going to turn this into a guy that I watch. His name is Stony Dennis. He's got a channel where he trains dogs. A lot of labs too. But all kinds of dogs. Anyway. Um, she so didn't see it. Anyway, he's got a nice cool setup where you can take him around and exercise the dogs. Um, he doesn't have a pool this size, but he's got a little something. He sets up kayaks and tires and all kinds of stuff. I'll try to make it look nice. So she's waiting for her ball. While she's getting a drink. Ready, Maze? Anyway, well, that's the update around here. Not certain how insightful that was. And I'm sorry I got a little kind of in a funk about whoever that was who commented on uh, how our yard looks like crap. Uh, <laughs> you know, I'm out of a wheelchair, you all, standing up doing this, all right? Cane, walker, wheelchair, crutches, uh, the polio stick looking things I get from the VA. Just know this, not everybody lives the way you do. And, and before you start 
opening your trap, you ought to consider sometimes who you're talking to. All right? <laughs> now, I know most people don't get that uh, frustrated or angry. I'm sure you heard it. I did too. It was coming out in me. I really wanted to know who that person was and let him see what goes on around here. The fact that I'm even on my feet or even trying to do any of these projects is a um, pretty big deal. All right? I'm losing weight, training dogs. I got a lot of stuff. Stopped drinking. Um, I got a month of not drinking, spending my time with my animals, and about 10 other projects I've got going. So it's about baby steps. And I figure giving something back to them instead of being just in my own problems, I found it's really helping me. So we're both helping each other, or all three of us. Well, okay, all four of us are helping each other. And uh, I plan on keeping it going. So anyway, sorry about the negativity, but I, I need to let some of you know where we're coming from on this so that we can kind of stop some of the comments because it, it, it really doesn't help. I know even Joe Rogan said never read comments. Just don't even read them. And I can't even imagine the stuff that guy must get in the millions of followers. And we've just got a few people watching every now and again. Um I'll still read the comments, but if anybody's throwing out hate like that, I just go ahead and get rid of them. We don't need that around here. Okay. <laughs> now, let's have a good day. Don't forget, you guys, if you've got a dog like I do, or three of them, um, take your dog out. Go, uh, thank you, Ollie. And don't do what I almost did there, which is scream at him. <laughs> And go throw a ball for your dog. All right. Have a good day. Say bye, Maze. Buck. You say bye. Yeah. We'll we'll see you tomorrow. He says. Okay, Ollie. Ollie, you don't care. Can you sit? What a good boy. All right. We'll see you guys tomorrow.